Hello, Tauruses. Welcome to your love reading for February 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides of the Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Tauruses, for love, for February 2024? What do you see? What do they know? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? Any messages would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. Thank you for the first card. Could I please have two additional? So we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse for energies prior to February. What do you have for February? Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In that spread, I'll have something you do not know about them in addition to what they're seeing or interested in somebody else. We have the Knight of Cups in the upright for February. In my playlist are your 2024 Sun Moon readings. Check those out. 2023s are still in there. See if they're going true for you or somebody else. And we end on the death card in the reverse as you move out of um, out of February into March. Also, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, and support my efforts. That is always greatly appreciated. So, Taurus is we're starting off with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, the vibe I'm kind of getting from this. Um, I honestly, I feel like it's you. I mean, it can flip flop, but I feel like it's you. If I'm going to be honest, I don't, I don't like to, I don't like to do the flip flop thing. I kind of go with whoever, whoever I kind of feel is coming in. And I feel like, uh, you guys, you have somebody they're interested in, and you feel ownership over that person. Um, I, I feel as though you, know, for whatever reason, you're attached, you were attached to them. Uh, you were kind of like their mind. I don't want anyone kind of seeing them. Um, a little jealousy kind of sprinkled in with that. Uh, maybe being envious of time they're spending with other people or somebody, anybody other than you. Um, I, I am. I'm getting envy. I'm getting jealousy. I'm getting this person is mine or was mine, and you know I I don't see why they're doing what they're doing. Okay. Um, so I, I would be a little bit, well, you can't be because that's in the past. That's energies prior to February. But what I'm seeing in, um, in February with this Knight of Cups in the upright, um, I feel as though this is a new person that's coming in. Okay, so a very pleasant distraction in February. Somebody who's coming in and ooh and ah and sweeping you off your feet. Very romantic. Knight in shining armor. Uh, totally connecting with them on this emotional and passionate level. Um, feeling that kind of connection. But the problem with this person is they just aren't one for long-term commitments. They aren't known for that. They're, they're in it. Um, to me, the Knight of Cups is, he, he's in love with being in love. So, um, you know, he's all about it when it's all lovely and romantic and it's very new. Um, you know, there's this youthfulness to him, but then I feel that then when the work starts coming in or anything negative or the first argument, you know, he, he's ready to kind of throw it all out the window and move on to something else. So, um, my concern is that you're investing in this person for something else. I mean, if it's going to be a casual connection, uh, you know, really good time, a rebound, something like that, then yay, I'm all for it. I just wouldn't get invested in this person. And I get concerned that you do because as you move out of February into March with the, the death card in reverse, this is reluctant to let go of this person, not wanting the dynamic of the relationship to change, um, being very resistant to it changing um, and just kind of staying in that space. So where you know that this person is not in a long-term commitment. For them, it's very, it's a very casual affair. And, but you continue to just kind of sit on that, hoping that it's going to turn into something else, which I think is actually going to work against you. So let's see, um, you know, so obviously my advice is, I mean, take this for what it is in February is what I would do. Um, don't kind of read into it or, or make it something more or have expectations of otherwise. Um, why is the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages, please, for the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, we have the Three of Cups and the Upright. Yeah, whoever this was, you really had a good time with this person. But again, I, I feel you kind of, you were very... Um, it, very interested in what they were doing a lot of times you were checking up on them you wanted to know you know oh what they were up to what they were doing I mean you it fair to be fair you guys could very well have trust issues and you know if somebody is just running about and not telling you stuff that's going to trigger you so that could have been why but I kind of see you sort of smothering this person um you might even be saying thinking that they're spending they're flirting a little too much spending time you know with friends a little bit too much um you know, things, things of that nature, um, going out a little bit too much and questioning about it. I feel 
um, and the sun card in reverse, that's something that really bothered you. It really kind of hung over your head, um, not knowing what they were doing, who they were with, you know, questioning things all the time. And I feel that's where, you know, you, you felt um, this need to kind of um, clip their wings or keep track of them. I don't want to make it sound too negative, but, you know, I feel like you, you wanted to be on them because you wanted to know what they were doing. Um, so why is this Knight of Cups here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages, please, for this Knight of Cups in the upright. Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay. I, I'm going to be honest. I see a pattern here. I see kind of the same thing kind of playing itself out. And I see whoever this is with the Nine of Cups in the upright very, being very dependent on knowing what they're doing in a very practical sense. Like, what, you know, what did you do today it, um, under the guise of how was your day or things like that. And, um, you know, you just, it seems like your your day-to-day -day is very reliant on their comings and goings, um, you know, at an early stage too. Um with the King of Pentacles in the upright, I feel as though um, this person, I feel as though they're very cool in their responses. So they don't kind of, they don't engage. They, they try to kind of stick to the matter at hand. They don't kind of, you know, take it down alleyways or something like that. Um, because I, I feel that there's this solidity about them um, in that sense where they just aren't gonna, they aren't gonna entertain, um, you know, questions that to them are irrelevant or things like that that just aren't applicable. So you might find um, your, your questions or uh, wanting to know what they're up to fall a little bit flat in that department. Um, with the three of um, wands in the upright, I see this person actually considering other options because of this. Um, and, and not just because of this, I feel like that's their nature. They just do not stick with any one person. They're known to roam. They're known to, you know, they might be uh, young and they want to experience everything that's out there and just don't want to get tied down right now, you know, and, and want to have uh, many experiences. And it doesn't have to be with other people. It could just be in general and it's, you could be, it could be really limiting when you want to travel or you want to do things um, when you're obligated in a relationship so I kind of sense that um, it's kind of like the world is their oyster and they want to experience that um, and, and I feel like they're communicating that to you also very much a possibility um, but I don't think you I don't think you want to listen or you refuse to I mean you guys can I mean can we can we talk truthfully here you guys can be a little bit stubborn at times it's kind of like the way you see things as the way that they should be so I mean if we can't talk honestly then then oh well. <laughs> um, why is the death card here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay. All right. So we have the seven of swords here in reverse. And I feel as though um, you have found out some things about this person that aren't, aren't really very savory. So I think there's some things about them that kind of turn you off and you're actually using that um in, in order to kind of reconcile with with um, the matter of how they are, or the fact of how they are. So I almost feel as though once you find out whatever this is, um, you choose to kind of break free from them. But I, I think um, it takes a little while for that to happen. And I do see with the Ten of Swords in reverse, you know, letting go of that. And, and it, personally, I think you guys are going to address why you are the way you are. I think you're going to find out some trauma in your life or abandonment issues or something in that regard. And that's going to actually open this can of worms uh, towards healing um, in regards to that trauma. So, I mean, you could ultimately thank this person um, for their behavior, for, for allowing that to kind of happen. And that's where the real work comes in. So I do feel you with the 10 of wands in the upright. Like I said, now that you open this can of worms, you realize there's a lot of work to be had to address the trauma and um, whatever you had going, had going on that cause you to be the way that you were at times it's very exhausting um sometimes you may you may even feel overwhelmed by everything um you know the pandora's box you've opened up so um expect the hard work to come in um so that's what i have for you at this present time if it does resonate consider a personal pre-recorded live reading just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me at 646-902-5715 otherwise make sure you click on your vimeo link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling and in that spread i'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're interested or seeing someone else in my playlist your 2024 sun moon readings 2023s are still in there see if they rank true for you or somebody else and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate and in support of my efforts that is always greatly appreciated otherwise Tauruses I will see you in the Vimeo reading adios from Veronica Garnett bye